their medals as state champs for the second straight year and doing it in impressive fashion. Last night, they had a fourth quarter game against Clark out of San Antonio. Again, they won by nine and they outscored them by eight in that fourth quarter. Held Clark without a field goal the final 246. So defense, a big part of last night's victory and uh, certainly defense was the story of tonight's ball game. They're just kind of steady and like we keep saying it well balanced and they, you know, as the game goes along, they figure out the changes that they need to make to uh, put the finishing touches on that team that they're playing that night. You see the head coach, Andrea Robinson, leading DeSoto to back-to-back -back state championships. As we wait for the trophy, it'll be interesting to see. We, we chose Jamia Harris. We'll see who is voted the most outstanding player in this ball game. Here we go. Well, it's a consensus. <laughs> and you go back to 13 points last night as well. Factors into the equation as she has uh, 29 points for the two ball games. Yeah, like you said, she was fortunate enough to be the one scoring in this tournament, but her give the credit to her teammates that allowed it to happen. So she will accept that plaque and then they will get the trophy. That's the one that matters the most as DeSoto picks up their second straight state championship trophy here at the Alamo Dome. South Grand Prairie being awarded their runner-up trophy as well as they had an outstanding season getting to the title game. Second straight trip to the state championship, but there's that, there's that trophy. We'll have more on this post-game show. DeSoto, back-to-back -back champs.